Airstream Base Camp and Ford F-150 Power Stroke Review, ready for the weekend wars. Dulce Wallops State Park Washington Western Washington is the kind of place where all summer, folks stash out of their offices on a Friday and don't come back until Sunday night, or Monday if they can get away with it. The freeways are jammed with trucks towing abrasive quads, kayaks strapped to roofs, RVs, and, for a weekend, me. Towing a newish Airstream base camp to the Olympic Peninsula, where there's a campsite alongside a mountain Fred River that bumps into a massive fjord system known as Puget Sound. The Bass Camp isn't exactly the Airstream you imagine when you think of an Airstream. It looks more like a horse trailer dressed up as a silent than the classic aluminum sausages we're familiar with. But the somewhat homely shape enables the Airstream to provide a large, relatively practical space inside, with standing room in all the areas you'd need it. Forward, along the sweeping front windows, there's a small galley and a remarkable amount of overhead and under-counter storage. Further back, there's a toilet-shower combination about the size of an old-time phone booth, and aft of that there's a leaf-shaped area that converts from a city to a bed. Let's cut to the chase, it's a great space for two people, and that is exactly what it's intended for. There's just enough storage and space to not require rearranging everything to get things ready for bed, and the atmosphere inside is suitably upscale. The interior walls are shiny metal, and the surfaces are all finished well. Think about a trendy new construction condo's entry lounge. That's about the aesthetic. And despite the fact that the big sweep of windows carried a serious privacy tint, it is still bright and airy inside when all the interior curtains are rolled up. The only interior lights you need during the day are in the bathroom. Airflow, particularly with the roll-up, full-size screen door in place, is exceptional. We were able to fine-tune the windows and vents throughout the trip to stay cool during the day and warm enough at night without the camper getting stuffy. Compared to a tent or a typical trailer, this was a treat. What's not seen is an array of subsystems that set the Airstream base camp apart from pretty much every other camper in the size range, and contribute to its substantial retail price. For one, there's a combination water heater furnace with a very European thermostat interface. After a quick orientation, it was intuitive enough to use, but I'd be remiss to leave out the fact that many other reviewers have reported issues using this system. After taking a peek under the access panels, it seems prudent to make sure there's an Airstream dealer near you in case things need fiddling to work properly. The first night, my family boondocked camper lingo for not hooking up to shore power or city water. Not the base camp's strong suit. There's plenty of water but not enough battery to do more than a night or two without severe energy conservation. Our partially shaded spot didn't let the solar panels charge the batteries one whit. With an infant to chase around, the careful conservation dance required to make it three whole days was a bit much. We managed to snag a new spot with power and water hookups, which let us experience the full base camp experience. Well, insulated and quiet inside, the almost silent heater didn't have to do much to keep us warm once we had a reliable source of power. Our baby, well, slept like a baby inside. We, crowded by a bassinet, had to sleep across the bed laterally, and it was wide enough to accommodate this. With nearby USB charge ports and a little cubby to store phones, it was a more convenient bedroom than those of many chain hotels. Likewise, the kitchen area is surprisingly functional, with an abundance of counter space to actually prep and cook a real meal. The little shower is less of a hassle to use than it looked at first. With a little pre-planning and rearranging, everything we needed to do inside was easy enough to accomplish. One other thing, rolling into this campsite, filled to the brim with older Airstreams and newer but less fancy Jayco's, the Bass Camp attracted an astounding amount of attention. It seemed like everyone in the campsite wanted to come by and check it out. Is that an Airstream? How do you like it? I was thinking of getting one, is how the conversation always seemed to go. Few seemed to blink when I dropped the price on them. The Bass Camp starts at $35,000. It is, by a long shot, more expensive than typical campers in this size from Jayco, 
Keystone, and the like, offering a bit less room inside but a substantially more upscale interior experience. To put a finer point on it, the Bass Camp is a glamping experience, plain and simple. Its amenities put it in another category. The experience of camping in one made all the difference in the world for my partner. She has camped all her life, mostly in tents at similar campgrounds, and loves it, but was appreciably more comfortable, better rested, and felt more energized in the base camp.